we're just gonna have to set this over here for a second. Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I am Michael. I'm Kendall. And today we have a special video. Yes, we do. This technically is a fig pin video, but it's a very special fig pin video. So you're gonna just have to keep up here because there are autographs involved. There's fig pins involved. There's moms involved. There's moms involved. So we have this. But this is kind of a surprise. We're going to hold on to that for a second. I'm going to explain what this is. This here is a box from Our Mom Cash. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big fig pin collector. And I am specifically a collector of a specific line of fig pin. That would be my Bruce Lee line. I don't know how well you can see them. But I am one of the few people in the world to have all six Bruce Lee fig pins. There is one fig pin from Bruce Lee that you have to be a member of the Chinese... Playhouse, Opera House, theater. Not Opera House. It's the, it's the museum in the Bay Area that is dedicated to the Chinese Historical Society. Um, and they did a... Uh, a you, you have to be like a $1,000 level donor... And they did a giveaway where if you donated $50, you were entered into a raffle. I don't know how many people entered in this raffle, but I won it. So I got the pin for a $50 donation, which is awesome. Then they partnered with the San Francisco Giants. And this is where this comes in. We don't live in the Bay Area. I wasn't able to go to the Bay Area, but our mom Cash does live in the Bay Area. So I bought her tickets to the game. She took her boyfriend, they went to the game for us, and then they sent us this care package. So in here, I know are going to be two fig pins, and there's a really cool thing about these fig pins, because they are autographed. Obviously not by Bruce Lee. So let's get into this box. She did use a very large box. I, she said that we could help her with learning how to for ship. Not a lot of stuff. <laughs> She's a very large box We're for not a lot of her. stuff. All right, first thing in this box is a... Wow, this is cool. So it was Bruce Lee night at the uh, the Giants game. I am not a baseball fan. And if I was a baseball fan, um, go Dodgers. But um, this is pretty cool. So this is a Bruce Lee San Francisco Giants hat. So you have... Bruce Lee flying kick there on the front. Then you have the San Francisco Giants symbol on the side. And then on the back here, you have Bruce Lee's autograph. And then look at the underside on the bill. You have this really cool Bruce Lee photo. That is awesome. That's a really cool hat. So thank you for that. And then also in here, what is this? We have like a poster. Do you already know everything she ended up getting? She probably told me, but I don't really remember. So there was like, apparently there was like raffles and stuff. They seemed to have a really good time. They did have a really good time. They did freeze though. They, cause it was, you know, nighttime, like on the coast basically. Which you told them to bring a... I did. I told my mom to bring a sweater and... You tried to be a, a helpful daughter. You know. So it looks like we got a poster here. Always a little leery to unroll posters, but it did get a little crunched, but let's see what it is. So it is a illustrated historical map of San Francisco's Chinatown as it was 100 years ago. Wow. That is pretty cool. There's got to be a collector for that yeah, somewhere. That's pretty cool. That's pretty legit. Yeah, she called me. It was a uh, it was um, Chinese Heritage Night. Oh, that's why the Bruce Lee stuff. Yep. She called me and said she was freezing, and her boyfriend gave her her jacket, his jacket. Well, that's nice of him. And I just feel like parents grow up, they 
move on. They think they're grown and they don't need you anymore. And that's not true. So here you have the Chinese Historical Society of America. So that is who, if you want this uh, special Bruce Lee pin back here, that's who you have to go through. But inside we have a bag of Cracker Jacks. Why? I think this was like part of the goodie bag. Some Cracker Jacks. Is there a story to that? Like why? No, I think it's just part of the goodie bag. All right, let's see what this is. Bruce Lee Tribute Night, September 15th, 2021. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. I am a massive Bruce Lee fan. Um, we share a birthday, November 27th. So, very cool. Um, you were born about 50 years before him, though. Is what they don't know. Apparently, they ate some Cracker Jacks, and we have a Cracker Jack prize that they gave us, maybe. Uh, they didn't even keep their prize? I have no idea. Like, I remember when Cracker Jacks used to put actual prizes in. Uh, we got the We Are Bruce Lee Under the Sky One Family pamphlet. Oh, this is the museum. So this is the museum that you could donate to. And then I got a shirt, and then we have the main attraction. This shirt is sweet. It is a Bruce Lee yellow. I love the yellow. The tags on it, which is just cool, because it wasn't like... Yeah, Bruce Lee. I don't know, cheapy printed or whatever. DGK all day. It's a heavy shirt, and it is a Bruce Lee shirt, and look at that. What's cool about this is that image right there, that image right there is the Chinese Historical Society big pin image. Cool. With the scratches and everything, look. Yeah. Oh, they did the scratches in red even. That's yeah. Cool. That's really cool. So there's three of these style. There is a color, a black and gray, and then the white, and then there's the other one with him with the nunchucks in the yellow. So this shirt is awesome. I am keeping this shirt for sure. I love this shirt. Very cool. All right, the main items though that she went for were the fake pins. And here they are. And what's really cool about these, what's really cool about each of these, they actually have a certificate on them too. Look at that, base, major, official Major League Baseball. That's really cool. So I got two of them because I bought two tickets, one for her and one for her, her boyfriend. So I got two of them. I don't know if I'm keeping both or not. Definitely keeping one in the collection for sure. This is why it's cool. So it is Bruce Lee with the nunchuck image, but instead he's in orange for Giants and he's holding a baseball bat. But if you look above his head right there, that is his daughter's signature. I think it's Shannon Lee, I think. And she signed both of these. She signed all the ones. Uh, Figpin will be coming out with these at a later date for the rest all of the, the one. ones. Huh? All the ones. What are you talking about? Meaning every one of these Figpins? Only or? the one at the park. Oh, so Figpin, <laughs> Figpin's going to be coming out with more of these, but you can only get the ones signed by her if you were at the game. So that's really special. That's very cool. This, was like, she there signing? I don't remember what my mom said. Like, yeah, she was there. Her? She was there. She was talking and stuff there. That's cool. So very cool. Bruce is our... So that is what we got from our mom. Went out and did this for us. So thank you very much. I didn't know that all of this other stuff was going to be there. I knew that the fig pins were going to be there. The rest of it was a complete surprise. But we have a surprise for you. Meaning for mom. For mom. I don't remember the guy's name right now, but she wrote me and she goes, hey, let me see if I find his name. Hang on. Okay, here it is. I found it. So she wrote me and this is what she said. Hi, Michael. This is your wonderful mother-in-law. I'm wondering if you'd be able to find an autograph something for Christopher Maloney. He is my husband, even though he doesn't seem to know it. So It was recently in some kind of men's magazine, too, that she was looking for don't know but i did my thing you know who i go to first place i went outlaw hobbies they they get some autographs that you know whoever comes to uh to vancouver british columbia they seem to be able to get apparently just first here oh <laughs> what 
is that? They put a puppy in here. Where do I have a puppy? Hang on. There's a puppy. I turn it over, and this is what I see inside. I turn it over, and I see this little pup. On the back of the card, it says, To welcome our new edition, we are offering a one-time per customer code for 10% off. Kona 10. K-O-N-A 10. Thanks again for your continued business. Ken, Lindsay, and Kona. Kona is stinking adorable. Yeah, that is a cute little So pup. that's such a cute idea. So there you go, everybody. If you watch this video, you got a promo code that we didn't share with everywhere else. Kona 10. And mom, here you go. There he is, Christopher Maloney. Autographed 8 by 10 You can see the autograph right... The glare. Promise you it's right there on the sky side there. ACOA authenticated. There you go. So... We're going to give this to her, and uh, we're going to tell her she's not allowed to open it until she watches the video. Or maybe we'll watch it with the video with her at home or something. When? Before I leave. I like to show it to her. Yeah. We'll figure it out. But surprise, Mom. There you go. Yay. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Go check out Big Pin. Go check out Outlaw Hobbies. And until next time. Chinese Historical Society. Chinese Historical Society. Cracker Jack. The Giants, if you want to. You don't have to do that, though. But thanks again, everybody, for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you next time. Bye. -bye.